Okay, so with that, I show the assembly complete, and we're back on the timeline, and we're now in Robonaut system power up. And that is fantastic news. Thanks, Dan. It's getting us back on track. And for everybody watching, um, this is the first humanoid robot we've had um, aboard the International Space Station in space, I guess, uh, as well. First one we've ever had. And uh, it's a Robonaut, or R2. And it's specifically designed to, uh, to have all the same kinds of um, interfaces or to be able to operate with all the interfaces that humans would use on board space station. And in, in the near term, uh, we've got lots of um, checkout operations to make sure that uh, everything is functioning and uh, all the systems are good. Very sophisticated, fully articulated, many, many degrees of freedom in the, uh, the fingers, the hands, the elbows, wrists, shoulders, waist, uh, head and neck as well, and uh, allows a lot of different ways to command uh, at this stage right now. And uh, most of the commanding we do right now is through automated scripts using a, uh, a dedicated program to do it. Down the road, we'll be able to command it via virtual reality, and, and I suppose down the road as well, there'll be some capability to do some, uh, some uh, artificial intelligence type uh, um, operations with it where it would have the, uh, the uh, computing capacity on board to, to basically operate in a more or less, uh, or a more semi-autonomous mode. Um, the kinds of things we think about using Robonaut for is to basically offload the crews from doing some of the more routine tasks on Space Station. We've got a crew of six up here, and most of the time everybody's really, really busy doing all the science that we do. And uh, having a seventh crew member to add to the complement of six is a, is a wonderful thing. Um, and ultimately, I think also it would be a fantastic uh, tool to have as an additional EVA crew member, spacewalking crew member outside. And uh, again, we've got uh, a lot of work in the near term for uh, from a technologic, you know, from a technology demonstration standpoint to get there. But this is a great first step. And Dan, we are setting up for the next couple of scripts on the ground. Okay, copy that. And Dan, this is Huntsville. We are ready for you to proceed to step 12. And once you're ready, we'll start with 13. A12 is complete, ready for 13. And we copy.
Okay, step 13 uh, looks good, and I can verify step 14. And we copy and concur. There is a, a handshake coming up in between Burbank and Robinot, so we're hoping to get it while we're still on the air. Station, Huntsville on space to ground. One for Dan and Robinot. Um, we are a go to proceed with step four, decimal three at this time. Here's 4.3, and you're ready as soon as I, with 4.3 complete and standing by on that, you're ready for 4.4? That is a firm. You are a go to proceed to the end of the program. Okay, very good. The first human-humanoid handshake in space. So man meets machine aboard the International Space Station as Expedition 30 Commander Dan Burbank reaches out and shakes the hand of Robonaut. And for the record, it was a firm handshake. Very nice. Nice job on the programming and, uh, and all the engineering. Quite an impressive, uh, quite an impressive robot. Thank you. Robinot is listening in, and they appreciate the words.